Today, I'm happy to share with you a new Sega Genesis game being debuted at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, as well as Torgs in Columbus, Ohio, but also I'm going to be thinking about looking and offering this game at other expos, and this is Block'em Sock'em. This is a puzzle game working closely with Second Dimension and was able to create a fun, collectible, and single-player puzzle gaming experience. I'm a huge Sega Genesis fan, and I've really been into puzzle games, and this was a fun project to work upon. And, you know, I love the Sega Genesis. It's one of my favorite games to collect, and I wanted to offer a fun experience, kind of a throwback to early Sega Genesis games, and I wanted to share this with you. So sit back, relax. Here we go. This aftermarket game is made with all new parts, brand new PCB, shells, case, and manual. And I really like that. Moving forward, I'm going to be focusing on making aftermarket games with all new parts. Here is the case and artwork. Turned out amazing. And what I love about Second Dimension is uh, just it's an all-in-one stop. And so they're able to make their own artwork, games, and I just think that's amazing. Here is the manual. And just a, it's a simple manual. It doesn't need much to explain this game. Essentially, you have 25 levels of a puzzle game. And pretty challenging levels, by the way. There's no time limit. And you're throwing boxes up to the top of the screen and trying matching colors. Here is the back of the box. And here's the cartridge, nice and colorful label. Just Second Dimension did an amazing job on this. Adam and I go way back. Uh, we worked on a previous project together, and we're good friends. And so here's the gameplay. Nice logo there. And that's Second Dimension. If you want to check out their website, they offer lots of retro gaming products. And here's the title screen. Uh, the arm length in this title screen is accurate. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was awesome. Just great artwork and uh, cool music soundtrack. When we were doing this project, uh, you know, I, the manual was thrown in at the last minute. I kind of thought, gosh, if it's in, if it's if it's not without a manual, I think some people would have an issue with that. So I had a local manual printed and uh, the, the instructions on how to play are in the game. It is important if you press start and C, you'll reset the level, uh, as you can get stuck on these levels as they can get pretty challenging. I'm gonna show you the first three levels, and you know, it is a score-based game, and so you're just moving me around with a colored block, and you're matching the colored block. You have so many tosses, and the goal is to get the number under left lower or the same as the goal, which on the first level is four. You do have a score, so the more colors you match together, you get more of a, uh, a score. So it is score-based, there's no time limit, uh, simple soundtrack, and 25 levels. I wanted to make a game that was beatable, but still challenging, and I thought this is a perfect mix of both and a collectible it is 40 bucks so this game is 40 dollars and you know i want to see what the interest is out there um you know for people asking about digital distribution i'm gonna think about that down the road but right now just a nice physical release i know there's a lot of physical release collectors out there and uh, rest assured that i'll probably make more other than these two expos right now uh, you know, these made in mass quantities are difficult. And as you progress in the game, it does get more challenging. There's more blocks. There's more things going on. But it was just a fun game that came together. And I want to thank Adam for all the hard work he did. And just wanted to offer something unique, you know. There's not enough puzzle games on the Sega Genesis. And, you know, a lot of the attention gets to action and shooters and racing games. But sometimes there's not a lot of new puzzle games coming out. And, you know, I've just been in the mood for those types of games. I don't know why. You know, I think 
as we progress through life, we go through different stages of what types of games we like to play. And for me, I'm into puzzle games. And this just kind of came together and I thought it's, it's a good mix of being a collectible and a fun game to play. But, you know, what do you think? Definitely, are you into puzzle games? What's your favorite puzzle games? And in the comments below, let me know. But, you know, this is just something I was really excited. I wanted to offer a new Sega Genesis game and I couldn't think of a better person to collaborate with than Second Dimension as they make amazing games. And, you know, offering new games, I've, I've been doing aftermarket releases and, and part of marketing of aftermarket games for over a decade. And so I'm really excited about offering this as I think it's one of the best Sega Genesis games that I've offered and looking forward to talking more about it. Would like to thank Second Dimension for all the hard work that they did manufacturing, designing the artwork and programming the game. Thank you so much, Adam. If you'd like to check out Second Dimension, they have amazing games for classic gaming consoles and more. The website is below. I want to thank him very much for all the hard work. And what did you think? For those that aren't going to these expos, rest assured that I am looking forward to creating more if the demand is there. I'm going to offer the first 60 copies of these games at two expos. And if the demand is there, I will offer more for people that are interested at further expos in the future. Thank you so much. This was a fun project to work upon. This is the Immortal John Hancock. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.